check it out. Um, today I'm gonna show you the little unboxing. Check it, the, the, the little CZ. We're gonna unbox the CZ Drake 20 gauge. Just wanna show you what's in the box. Everybody kind of see, likes to see these guns up close and personal, so. Um, the one thing I will say is, uh, that's got the, it's the standard cheapo case. I understand, you gotta understand the price point of this gun. So, you know, the case isn't gonna be this high-end wood grain case or anything, but for what it is, getting the case with the shotgun brand new, not too bad. Uh, and of course, over here, you got your, uh, got your choke tubes, comes with five. Got the choke wrench, the choke tubes. So you got your nice uh, blue velvet. Not bad looking wood. Pretty uh, basic on the engraving. Been shot before. No harm, no foul. Here's our uh, four in receiver. So these are Turkish made guns, as I'm, uh, all of the CZs are. Uh, but CZ seems to have this, uh, their manufacturing process down pretty good. So there you go. Good look at the whole shotgun. Still really tight, tight action. And I think the big thing here for us is you want to hear that really nice and feel that nice mechanical click on the safety and barrel selector. It's uh, one of the big things with the double gun. You want to make sure that that's uh, pretty solid um, because when you're in the field and you happen to be between those on a gun that doesn't make that nice mechanical click, you won't be able to fire. Uh, you know, one of the nice details they've got here is they've got this, uh, what's that called, engine turn um, on the on the uh, receiver itself. So a little bit decorated up like a uh, Winchester 101. Um, kind of reminds me of that. So a, a nice little bit of an upgrade there. Uh, but yeah, decent gun. Uh, going to be a little heavier than what you're going to see in the um, the ultralight versions that they got. This gun weighs in about six and a half pounds. Um, yeah, I like, like the uh, CZ Drake. Certainly worth a look. Uh, retail price on $675, so not bad. I've shot before, so it's a good shooting gun. 14 and a half inch pole length. Be sure to check it out.